Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Summer 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grober Games. So la earlier this month, we have been working on getting our new fields ready and prep. We got the sorghum harvest, we got one field of canola planted for next year already. Uh, we ran into a slight issue. It turns out that... Oh, that slurry extension wouldn't let us pull from it from the barn. So what I ended up doing, as you can probably tell with the massive amount of money we have now, is I ended up slowing that slurry extension. I tried everything and I just couldn't get it to pull like it should have normally. So we're just back to our single below building pulling below, pulling manure from our below building pit for slurry. But I decided So I decided to sell that off. So the only way that we're gonna be able to make it work Ooh, that's not right. Okay, I might have to grab another tractor. I was going to use the white to haul, but it keeps wanting to put it up on the big uh, European hitch. But we're just going to hold off on that. But back to what I was saying. Let's use the... We use the Kubota, I guess, since we've been using it the whole time anyways for hauling manure. Last month. Um, but back to what I was saying. So I kept... Tr I tried literally everything in my power to get it to the... Where we could haul manure from in there, and I just couldn't get it to work. And I don't know why that is. And then I also made sure that I tried the... Oh. There we go. I tried the... I also made sure that I tried the milk tank extension as well off screen. The milk tank extension does work as is. So that's good there. Because it would have been unfortunate for us to lose all the... All the money... All the... All the milk we've produced so far. So... I decided, as of right now, we're going to, just so we can, we can keep going, oh, just so we can keep going with everything, I decided we're going to still, like, we're still going to haul manure out, out on those fields. I mean, we got plenty of solid manure here, and I'm sure by the time, might as well put this away, by the time that, oh, fall rolls around, we'll have a good amount of slurry again, not a... Not as much as I would like, so to speak, but enough to keep us going for next season. Because I think we're going to try, I think we're going to keep kind of doing this like rotation setup. We'll probably plant a little bit, we'll be, probably plant sorghum again, and then we'll have corn and if, some soybeans. We'll, we'll try to rotate crops a little bit better for now on, just so we have a little bit more variety this series finally. I mean, we're, we're starting to make enough money and such that we should... We should be able to get away with doing stuff like that. But it's just just really unfortunate about the whole slurry slurry situation. I was I was really hope I was really excited to find out that was gonna work until obviously it didn't, so let's get this adjusted here. Oh jeez, this is gonna be hard to see where we just went. But we're gonna we're gonna go out here, get this all all the manure applied, and then we'll get the spreader off. Why is huh? That's interesting. I'm trying to figure out why it's so we got so much sporadic nitrogen on the field over here, because I'm pretty sure we don't we saw I'm pretty sure we hauled solid manure last year last year on this before we put the sorghum ground sorghum down, right? I'm almost certain we did, but we're gonna we're gonna get the manure, all this manure hauled on all three fields, get as much of the nitrogen as we can applied without overdoing it, which with our free fertilizer, so to speak, and then we're gonna pull out the the gl the Willrich cultivator, and we're gonna we're gonna get everything cultivated, and then we're gonna get come out here and get everything sown. So. That's kind of the plan for today's episode. I think we might, if we got time towards the end, I think we might try and mix some TMR as well. And I I tried hooking up the Oliver to the TMR mixture, but it was having the same problem that the white is having. Is that it wanted to hook it up on the, oh, like European high, like higher style hitch or whatever. And I just don't like the way that looks clearly just because it doesn't look right, as you probably could tell already since... Since I decided to switch back, switch to this tractor instead, so we'll probably hook the forty twenty up to that, and we'll keep the Oliver around here. Maybe we'll just have it do all like the odd blower task and such. 
But I think we'll jump into the time lapse here finally. We got quite a bit to do yet today, so we'll see you guys in a bit.
you come over, let me get to know ya. Hey, na, 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 delve into emotion, leave us in this moment.
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. I'm just going to haul some water up to the cattle up there. I think about 15,000. 50,000 liters should get them up by for a while, so we're just going to fill the tanker up enough, and we're going to head up that way. We got a good amount done today. I'm still a little disappointed by the whole slurry extension thing not working out for us. Um, I'm thinking if I decide to go with with one, we'll pro we might move it to the other side of the barn. It'll be like a slurry silo, so we'll have to... Unfortunately, transfer the slurry in and out, but I think only usually about one load or two, maybe if we need to go for a full year. But if we're if we're gonna start doing what what I think we're gonna be doing, which is we're gonna be implementing more crops into our series finally, and so we'll be able to. I think we'll be able to get the rid of the slurry in more of a timely manner than we were before, at least. So that we might not even have to reinvest into the slurry a slurry silo or extension, but. We'll see what happens. Um, the one thing I've been thinking about, I know it's that I want to put up another silo up in the yard, but I don't know if, if it's going to be, if it's going to work out too well over there. And I'm trying, and I'm thinking that our next, oh, our next big buy will be a land extension, and then I think, well, it will be a land expansion, and we'll probably be actually working towards oh, put. Investing into more businesses around here. I think I think that that'll probably be our next next goal per se. Oh The valve closed. all right That that's fine. This will work out Get that closed up And I'm I'm trying to think right now next month We'll probably we'll have another busy month as well because we'll have to start doing corn silage next month and we'll have actually oh We're we'll have uh We'll have to get our, oh, I'm sure we'll have to spray our, oh, our canola with some nitrogen, get that done. So we'll be able to break in our new sprayer as well, which is, well, which will be kind of exciting for us. And then we'll also probably have a little bit of weed control. So we might actually have another fairly busy month next month, but it'll def we'll probably not have to harvest as much corn silage as I normally do. Oh, why is the trigger not coming up? Am I not? There it goes. Okay. Starting to get a little concern here. Holy cow, that took no time at all to offload. I thought it was going to take a second here, but this is where we're going to finally end today's episode. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, Thanks for watching.